Welcome to the Applied Physics Lab EM Apex Deployment Instructions. Step 1. Remove Phillips head screws from lid. Remove lid. Step 2. Remove wooden support. It is tied to three plugs atop the CTD which should now also be removed. Next, remove the float and secure in a vertical position. Step 3. Remove the black seal screw in each electrode cap. Step 4. Pull each electrode cap straight off. It is critical to not ever twist these caps. Step 5. Install shade caps over each electrode. There are five in total. The small hole on the shade cap should be face up. The larger hole on the cap should be face down. For float deployment, it is time to prepare the sea catch. This is the release mechanism we recommend using to deploy each float. The first step is to remove the safety pin. Next, open the sea catch using the release lever. Secure the C-catch over the monofilament loop on the side of the float. Attach a line to the release lever of the C-catch, which will be pulled later to release the float. The final step is to be completed right before deployment. Carefully remove the tape holding the microstructure cover in place. Underneath this cover are the very sensitive probes. They will break if touched. For removal, carefully lift and tilt the cover away from the probes. Again, use caution and do not let the cover touch the probes. Now the float is ready for deployment. Please deploy float as last task at station. Do not stay on location while float is in the water. We recommend deploying from stern while the vessel is traveling one not over water. If possible, turn off prop during deployment and wait for float to drift a safe distance before turning prop back on. Once the float is safely away from the side of the vessel, caution, do not let the probes bump into the vessel on the way down to the water. As soon as the base of the float hits the water, pull the release lever on the sea catch. It is important to note, the float has fins that will cause it to spin once submerged in water. If deploying with a rope hand over hand, be careful. Once float is submerged in water, it may begin to spin. The rope may tangle. One final note, the functionality of our system relies on the two very sensitive probes on top of the float. Please do not let anything touch them during the deployment process. Thank you for your support.